participant would talk about how to use sklearn, pandas, and also numpy for machine learning, specifically my Udacity machine learning capstone project. In this section, we try to set the date as our index of the data frame. First of all, I put all the data frames I care about in a list, and, and so I can loop through them easily. Then I define a function, just an arbitrary name, that will take any argument, any data frame argument, and it will use the, um, it will set its index as using its date column. Remember, for our data frame, date is just a column, and now we just want to use the set index function to basically um, use that date column as its new index. It will become a date time index object. So you want to date time it. Um, yeah. And then you want to drop that date column. And then you want to return the temp table. So at first, I, I basically start another list that is an empty array, and that will store each of the new returned object. And it's always important to double check the shape, and I always, I always make sure I do that. So you can, for example, just make sure you didn't miss anything. We used to have seven features, now we have six features, and the same number of rows. And you know, do a quick check, uh, dfgoogle.head. Um, eventually, we'll drop the symbol column too, but right now you can see um, yeah, this way, okay, so this is what the old data frame looks like, right? It has not dropped yet. The data column exists here, but if I were to print out a new one, not the most elegant way, but you get the idea. And the new one, let's do the tail or something. And you can see the date now is in, it's not in a column anymore. See, the date column has been removed, and the date is now a date time index. It's now the index of the panda. So you can query it, it's useful. Later on, you can use it using um, this. Check this out. And you get all the index returned. In this case, we just, the tail, so one, two, three, four, five. You get the idea, this is extremely useful, it took me a long time to figure out. I'm just really glad to share it here. It's It wasn't hard, it was just like, the documentation of SK learning is wonderful, but it just like, so few people are doing machine learning right now. Sometimes it's not exactly easy to find the perfect error message and issues, uh, unlike JavaScript, for example. You know, if you have encountered error message, probably most people have encountered it at some point.